Hello everyone, today uh, I will be showing you how can you plot your uh, data, your data which is created by your C++ code. So it's pretty, pretty uh, important and pretty hard to find any kind of like solution to display your data in your C++. Actually I've seen some references, some sources, for, but they were for um, code blocks and other IDs other than um, Eclipse that I'm using so yeah guys so I will explain it by example so here is one of my codes so this is the um, state space solver maybe you know maybe you don't but yeah so all you know what this code does is uh, it's it's giving some data points some displacement points respect to time so as you can see in one of my classes I am generating my signal first and I am writing it to the file write the file in here so as you can see I am like putting four spaces or one tab let's say and then every uh, data after every data so I'm going to next line so basically it seems like this I can show it for you like that so first column is a time and the second column is the value yeah it can differ depending on your application but basically this is the X this is the Y point so what can you do is actually what I was doing at the beginning so I was copying these all of the things into the Excel and using import data it's one of the Excel aspects uh, I was trying to like arrange them in Excel and I was trying to create some plots in Excel but it was like a headache it was it was pretty hard to copy all the time you change so in my code let's say yeah as you can see in here I'm writing the file which is closed loop or I'm writing the file which is open loop in here okay if you guys want more detail about this uh, program state space solver yeah, you can contact me and I can make another video for that so I'm running this code so what I'm expecting is this code is gonna write and enter the values like this into the that text file which I have indicated in here so the tool that I'm gonna use to display the data is GNU plot. You can easily find it, you can easily download it. There is no fee, there is no like you, yeah, you can get it by free. So in here all you all you should do is viewing the common directory. So I've already done this in here. Okay, here is my com uh, common directory which is my uh, text file and data files are located in so you can click here and you can take it and yeah you can copy it in here don't forget to put this symbols in here so then the only thing you can do is this so plot open with that txt so just forget about those for now I'm gonna explain a little bit later when I click enter see you can easily see your plot you can add grid I don't know there is a box so when you click on grid so the, yeah, the resolution becomes very good I couldn't get why it's happening maybe it's because the version of my computer or anything else I don't know it can be a bug um, yeah as you can see it's putting a plus each your data points and this is the output of your masking damper system let's say so there are lots of adjustments with this program you can easily find any kind of user manual and um, there are lots of explanations about it but uh, I'm gonna show you how easy this is again so it was 1031 I want to change my system like to like four and like let's say zero point not make it a little bit damp it so yeah once I get created it it is 
updating my file, which is open loop and close loop. Yeah. So every time it creates, it takes a bit of a time, but actually it is pretty good to um, like enable enable the program. Yeah. So yeah, it's finished. It's here here's an open loop. Here's your closed loop takes this. So they are generated right now and. And putting plug, okay, yeah, as you can see, I didn't even change anything. I just clicked output button and it appears. So what can you do with it like this? So let's begin with it. So it now. So this is the line type. This is the line color. This is width length. I mean, when you do this, yeah, it represents it by line like this. If you wanted to plot on top of it, and you can use this command you can only put a comma and then uh, type your the added folder name the added data point set and then you can define any aspects of this plot you click enter as you can see yeah the green one has an open loop because the closed loop system is really bad so it auto scaled itself so yeah this is a pretty good tool to use to like your C++ generated data sets. Yeah. Thank you for watching.